Alongside automatic steering in the field, the GPS Pilot can also be used for fully automatic turning on headlands. For this purpose, the Auto Turn option must be activated on your S10 terminal. At the very top, we specify a limit value for the maximum ground speed during the turning process. Below this, we specify whether the next track is to be used or whether tracks are to be skipped. In the next step, we must specify whether we wish to turn to the left or right when we reach the headland. In the next step, we can determine how and where the automatic turning maneuver is to take place. We have a total of four different options here. Either directly below the vehicle in the current vehicle position, or after crossing a headland track, such as a green track that has already been worked. If we have recorded a field boundary for this field, we can either use the headland line from that boundary or select the turn within field boundary option. In this example, we will be using the turn within field boundary option. In the next step, we define whether we wish to change the direction when turning or whether we wish to create lands automatically and therefore select the switch over gap function. We wish to work this field in lands, so we will select the switch over gap function. To do so, we increase the number of tracks to be skipped to four and select left as direction of rotation. After closing the menu, we start working the area for which we use a previously created AB line. Before reaching the headland on the opposite side of the field, the auto turn control menu now opens again automatically and the track that the vehicle will follow is shown in blue. To confirm this route, we either press start or the autopilot button on the C motion lever. The menu then closes automatically and the proposed blue track is now confirmed and displayed in red. As soon as the tractor turns automatically at the headland, we raise our short disc arrow out of the ground and the system skips the set four tracks to the left. All we then need to do is lower the short disc arrow again This same procedure is then repeated on the opposite headland. However, we skip one track fewer this time and follow the track directly to the left of our original track. As soon as we are moving along the final track and the plot will subsequently have been completely worked, the steering system automatically guides us to the left and starts working another plot. Another option alongside working the field in lands is to use the auto turn function and work the entire field from left to right in the classic way. When using the automatic turning process here, only the direction of rotation is switched over and, if required, one or more tracks are skipped. To do this, we open the main menu and select Auto Turn Setup in the settings. In this example, we will be reducing the number of tracks to be skipped to one and then selecting Change Direction as the turning pattern. We close the menu and continue our work. As soon as we now reach the headland on the opposite side of the field, the auto turn control menu opens again and this time we can see from the blue line on the left that the system will skip this one track. After confirming this route, the tractor turns into the confirmed track. 